what is up good morning hello i'm starting this vlog i haven't even ended my other vlog things are a little chaotic with the things but with my vlogs i haven't organized them or anything like that but we are on our way to home depot again yet again for the third time jessica is just about to roll up right now in the car we're getting some gas someone's smoking just she mouthed to me that somebody was smoking that ain't good you know when we at the gas station that ain't safe yeah i know it's dangerous yeah, I I don't know that happens to me all the time does it ever no, happen the to you worst thing is my trunk is forever closed oh <laughs> let's see let's watch her struggle <laughs> Uh, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> it was funny. Anyway, uh, does that ever happen to you if you have like a car that you that has you know the little thing to pull up for the trunk and for or, or push down? I think it's pull up for the trunk for me and then push down for the gas tank thing opening thing. Anyway, mine does that, so I don't know if you guys do that, but if you do, do you struggle with that sometimes, or do you like press it? Not struggle, but you press it on accident, or you push it, and then you're like, because you're not thinking. Your first instinct was to pull or push, but really you were trying to do the opposite, the other. Anyway, we're getting gas, and now we're gonna go to Home Depot, as I mentioned. Yesterday we started pulling out some of the weeds. Just, I'm sore. And uh, I ended up ex super exhausted at the end of the day. Uh, actually, right now I think we're gonna get some some ice caramel macchiatos from McDonald's because they're actually really good. If you've never tried them, you should try them. Because I like them. Anyway, we'll see you there. Yeah, forget about McDonald's. Why? What happened? We're just watching these poor people struggle trying to get rid of that. <laughs> trying to get rid of that. Uh, Whatever they're cutting that branch those branches from the tree like literally was struggling. I don't know. Oh, he got it now Did he? Very interesting though. Interesting. Check it. Oh, man this is, Why do they always have to park next to my car? Out of all places why they always got to park next to a car. That's what Jess said about this gentleman right here. We've got Some of these to try actually something we've been wanting to try every time we come here for like well okay i should say every time the last three times that we've been here including today the last two times including today which makes it three we've been saying we should try this dunkin donuts so we're gonna try them we're gonna try them whoa i almost hit a senorito's car next to this all right you're gonna try Ooh, it's cold girl it's so cold okay tell me how it is and then i'll try it out because you know i gotta take a picture of the instagram and have to take a picture of all the other the other snapchats yeah shake it shake it shake it like a polaroid picture you're not shaking like a polaroid you're already picture you're wired up no you i am like a tension headache or something like you have a tension here. headache yeah because you worked out them muscles like that girl you woke up like that okay all right try it it's ready mm-hmm i've had a real uh coffee what did you have on that time yeah, yeah no you had a chai latte didn't you fake all right let me use your fit. muscle man oh you that hurt you don't have to open mine then just kidding just kidding let's see what jessica thinks about the drink it smells good does it taste good this is french vanilla they had um original french vanilla and what was the other one? Oh, and mocha so we went for the french vanilla obviously because you know it's not the best good yeah strong it's rich smooth and it tastes like coffee <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah great description jessica straight from the bottle <laughs> that's funny all right i'm gonna try this now i am um in the process of trying to open this my my nail beds hurt because we were pulling out dandelions and shit yesterday <gasps> All right, let's see. Watch me open mine so Jessica gets mad when I do things so much <laughs> easier. Okay, okay. When I do things easier, look at look at the wrinkles that I got on my phone. Try open. I don't think I can. <laughs> Hold on. I need the assistance of my shirt. Sometimes she does. What do you guys do with these? Oh no, I got it. I got it. Sometimes she gets mad at me when I can open things a lot easier. <laughs> like right now, look at her face. Look at her face. You're supposed to put it into your face. Mm -mm. Smells good. <laughs> <laughs> but does it taste good? That's what you gotta say. Yeah, but does it taste good? Let me find out. It 
It tastes rich, smooth, and tastes like coffee. It's better than some of than some of the coffee, the Starbucks. I think I like this more than the one they sell for Starbucks. Yeah, because the Starbucks ones is like extra sweet, isn't it? Oh shoot, forty grams of sugar. I'm gonna be hyped. All right. So as you know, one of the projects that we're working on is putting seeding, reseeding. I don't know what the hell it's called, but putting new seed in the grass, growing some new grass. So this is what we did. We kind of try to get as much of these weeds out as we could. There's so many, but um, yeah. So we kind of try to disturb the soil that's already here, the dirt, because we need to fix that. We need to work on that so that we can lay down the seeds. But look at these little fuckers that grew overnight. These, look how many grew. These were not here last night. We tried our best to get rid of so many of them, but they just freaking grew overnight. Like literally opened up overnight. They're everywhere. Oh, look at this bee right there. Oh, hello, Mrs. B. I'm so sorry. We're gonna get rid of these. I feel bad. I need you to create a lot of honey. Aquí tenemos a esta maquinita. Y no hablo de Jessica. Hablo de esto. It looks like you're peeing on it. I'm not a fan of being mean to things, especially living beautiful. But that's I don't know if that's really considered beautiful, but. I mean, it's beautiful in its own way, but I'm, I'm, oh, it makes me sad to think that I'm going to have to ruin you. But you can't be in my mama's grass, okay? So I'm excited to spray it on this one, you intruder. All right, so we're back. We just actually came back inside from spraying all the weeds. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful my roses are. I know I've shown them so many times, but look how gorgeous they are. Trader Joe's, you never let me down with the flowers. But the roses, roses. Right, so I think we started at 12.30, so we'll check. That thing says it starts working immediately. But anyways, we did the whole entire back, the front. That's a lot. And our arms are like super noodly still and our legs and we're just all sore from doing the yard work yesterday which we have a lot more to do we literally only did one small section but but we're gonna <laughs> bless you bless you silly bean what you want to tell people something what you want to tell them bless you again scooty what's going on sniffing me up for I think dinner because I don't think it's gonna be done now we got some jackfruit we haven't been able to go to sage which has like the most delicious festival burrito that we've tried so me and Jess are like totally in love with that place but obviously they don't have one close by they do have one in Pasadena but we ain't trying to go all the way over there traffic in California you already know it's like nah, I don't want to win a super lane we got things to do so me and Jess were like we should actually try to make that jackfruit carnitas is what they make you know it's like a vegan option it's like pretty much imitation like meat but it's like what gives you that meat meat feel and what is it called that um the texture of meat it is a vegan option that i have learned about jackfruit we've seen it at the store so we got some so i said i'm gonna try to make jackfruit carnitas to make a burrito i have the beans over there the black beans um soaking and i'm gonna make some potatoes right now try i'm gonna try to make fries because we don't have russet potatoes we only have the red potatoes so i'm gonna try to make those work but that's what we're doing um, so I'm probably gonna do that for dinner, but I'm gonna leave them in water and salt to, to kind of get the starch out And then once I'm ready to make them later Then we do that, you know, but uh, we're gonna try and use this little what is this called Jess? This little toaster This toaster oven to make Some fries in there and so yeah, so here are my little potatoes my red potatoes just washed them about to cut them you're just a cutie with a booty. Yeah, you're just a cutie, a cutie. Fries. Well, there's thicker fries. Should we do thick fries like that? Yeah, we're gonna do thick fries like that. I was gonna make them skinnier, but. Make sure they get covered up. And you add a little bit of salt. And you just kind of mix it up a little bit. Cover it up and put it in the fridge until they're ready to cook. All right, so you know how I had gotten the video micro? I didn't like it. I didn't like how it performed. And it's very odd to me because I've seen a lot of YouTubers that do like it. And then I've seen a lot of videos where it was hissing and others where it wasn't. So I was very confused. I don't know if it's the camera compatibility with this or if there's settings that they have used on their on their cameras. It could very much be that I don't have that setting on the camera that I want to use. I don't know. I just didn't really like it. And then I went back and I looked at the reviews, which this looks like a legit product. It doesn't look fake. It doesn't look like it's an imitation. It doesn't look like somebody just, you know, you know, like just made it. You know what I mean. Um, but I looked at uh, some of the reviews and on some of the reviews, a lot of them said that Rode microphone does not authorize something full fulfillment. Um, 
on Amazon or something like that to sell on there. Like they don't sell on there. That's what I read. I don't know if it still holds true now, but there is a disclaimer or a warning on the actual website, on the road website. I never seen it until then. It does indeed have that warning on the page. I'm not exactly sure if they say that that's how it is, if that's updated or what it could be because I got this from a seller that was road. So I, in my mind, thought it was actually road so i got confused because at first i read that they don't authorize any kind of road microphone selling or any of their products through amazon and then i read a list of people who are unauthorized sellers so i'm very confused either way i'm gonna send this back because i didn't like it and i don't know if it was because it could have possibly been i don't know i don't know what it is but i didn't like it i feel like i want to get my money back and then maybe down the road i'll actually go to buy it because they don't even have one at the best buy here that's not even an authorized seller because these are from australia the company is from australia i believe yeah australian made and owned and it makes me sad because i was really counting on this and i really Really, really was excited but the sad thing was that my 7d had way better quality audio than this did because this just has a terrible hiss to it but yeah well I don't know maybe it might be a dumb decision maybe and it might not but I'm gonna put this back in I printed my label and I'm gonna ship it out because I wasn't happy with it and it makes me sad because I was really wanting this to work but I don't know I don't know what it could be I don't know if I did get the wrong thing or if I didn't I don't know if this is really legit or not. It looks absolutely legit, but I know obviously a lot of people specialize in making things look legit. I don't think this is a copy. I think this might be actually it, but I don't know. It does have really, really good reviews, but again, I'm kind of thrown off by the whole, like the actual company doesn't authorize sellers to sell this on Amazon. So I don't think it's on Amazon or maybe it is now. I don't know. I'm really confused at that because I don't know if they changed that and now they allow some. There are only verified sellers. I don't know. Either way, I'm going to send it back and maybe down the road I'll get it again or I can figure something out because I didn't see anything on online that really helped with the camera that I have also because my camera's a little older you know anyway we'll see but for now sending it back all right if you've never seen what jackfruit looks like it looks like this on the outside well you can't really see it that's silly for me to try to show you it has like all these spikes right on the outside and it's like this big thing it kind of looks like durian fruit or whatever the hell you however the hell you say it this is what it looks like on the inside i'm about to take it off it stinks kind of smells like rotten cottage cheese so i gotta pop all these seeds out and i gotta cut this open and this is a challenge i guess i gotta cut the core out so uh we're gonna see Woo, man this mm, this is tanky so they said that i should put olive oil, a little bit of oil on my hands. I don't know how safe this is when I'm using a knife, but that's what they said to do that. And on the knife. I honestly have no fucking clue what I'm doing. I honestly have no clue if I'm doing this right. This is harder than it looks. This is what I took out. I think I still need to salvage that, but this is weird. Pop the seed out, look at that. Imagine if we planted one of these. We use one of the seeds to plant this. I guess I just gotta open this up. I think this is part of the seed. Basically, this is what we want, I believe. So, I've got this so far. Oh, you can't see it. All those pieces. I don't know if this is the exact way to do it, but I'm just pretty much keeping the yellow part of it. Throwing the seed away. I don't know. This is my first time doing or peeling open or cutting open jackfruit. I've never done this before, but I think I'm doing A-OK -okay for my first time with this jackfruit. It's actually quite satisfying to peel it back. All right, so that is what it looks like. Before adding the jackfruit in there, I had heated up some onions, garlic, and some spices that I put together with some oil, but I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't even done this yet. So now we gotta put this on the heat, cook it. All right, so we got these. Now we're just placing them on here. We're gonna do some on here and bake them in that little toaster oven over there. It's already heating up. And then the rest of them, we're gonna fry. And by the way, this looks absolutely nothing like, whoa, what I wanted it to look like. But it's okay, because it's uh, my first time making it, and I'm pretty sure I did it all wrong. All right, placed in, and I'm gonna hand it off to Justin. Now I've got 20. Oh, potatoes. Bye-bye. Have fun. Cooking. 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 So we got our fries. We got the first burrito. Well, it's more like a quesadilla now, but we got it all up in there. I don't know if it's gonna be good. Hopefully it is. Guys, I realized what the problem was. I just, re I, and I read over that piece too and what the, re the recipe I got from because we didn't use green jackfruit. They said not for it to be way too ripe. It would be sweet, gooey, and nothing like meat. So I fucked up, but it was still, uh, well, 
I, I mean, it was good. It just wasn't amazing. It just wasn't something I'd be like, oh, let's it try this again. The taste that we yes, we're intending to go for. Yeah. It didn't taste anything like Festival Burrito does at Sage, but it wasn't bad. It fed us. It was pretty good. The taste was good. I didn't think it was going to taste like, I don't know. I was kind of scared what it was going to taste like because it kind of tastes, smelled, it smells funny. And it actually tastes good. Like you could, uh, it's a fruit, so you can eat it. And I did. Just tried it too. What'd you think of it? Good. To, I mean, it was different. To me, it was like mango. Mango and pineapple fused together with the smell of banana. Weird, I know. I'm growing you since it tastes like pineapple and cantaloupe together. Oh, that's interesting. I would have to try it again in order to say that. Well, anyways, whatever I made looked like damn plantains, right? Caramelized plantains. But the flavor was really good, so I'm proud of that. I just realized that I should have used green jackfruit. But they didn't have any green jackfruit there anyway. So I guess what we got was just already ripened. I don't know. My first time doing any of that, but um, it was an experiment. It was interesting, and now... That's all I had to say. But the fries were good. I think everything was good. It just wasn't something that I'd be like, <gasps> Yeah, both tastes exactly. the fries. Oh yeah, the both. Did, could you tell the difference? No. Well, yeah, it was the, the one was less Soft, crispier. Um, yeah, but it also wasn't as greasy as the crispy one. Mmm, mmm. Oh, all right, 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 right. True that. Well, now it's time to clean up. About what? The cheesecake, though. <laughs> you want me to make a cheesecake? Jessica wants to... Huh? I'm bringing up the past. Anyway, so I wanted to wrap wrap this up, this vlog up. Just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this. I wanted to give my shout-outs to Julie, Jose, and Fatima. Thank you so much for watching my vlogs and commenting. And uh, I think you just walked by. Look at these little hairs. Anyway, so thank you so much. Thank you for everybody who's watched this vlog. Thank you to everybody who's gonna continue to watch this vlog. And thank you for simply just being here. So thank you again for the million time and I'll see you tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog. Right, Tiki? Right. And remember, there's one thing that I wanna call to mind. There are actually three. No matter the highs or lows, always be sure, always be certain to do good, be grateful, and stay humble. See ya. Look at these beautiful flowers. They're so beautiful. <laughs>